Hello there keys, Andy Lip here, back with another advanced OBS tutorial, and I've been asked so many times to cover this, and we've kind of touched on it a little bit before, but we're going to be looking at nested scenes. So, with nested scenes, we're going to kind of go through what they are, how to use them, why you want to use them, but before we get into that, make sure you do like the video, press that subscribe button, because there's so many more helpful hints on this channel, and if you've got any questions about anything streaming related, let me know in the comments section below. Let's get on with it, put your rock for the stone! Like I say, we have kind of touched on this a little bit in my video where I talk about organizing your OBS and how to easily navigate all your scenes and sources, which you can kind of see just up there. So pause the video, go and check that out if you like. But let's have a little look at nested scenes. I want to give you an example first on one of my scenes. So taking a look at my OBS just here, you can see it's all organized like I went through on that video. You can see I've got these little NS buttons well they're all neighbored up ns and that just stands for nested scene the easiest one that i can explain to you is the audio one so i'm just on this one right now nested scene audio and you can see i've got four different audio inputs and you can see my mic actually going up and down just here but i've got my chrome audio for anything that's playing through with my uh, browser i've got my comms audio going through discord i've also got my game slash desktop sound as well i can change them individually if you want to know more about organizing your sound and stuff like that go and check out that video up there i use voice meter it's so good because it means you can have a different kind of set of levels to what the stream has so if you're playing something that where you don't really want any music but you stream up music you can sort it out that way but in this scene here, I've got these four sources, and that's it. So normally, if I wanted to have all them four uh, inputs, I'd have to put them on every single scene. If I go to now my Let's Chat scene, which you won't be able to see very well because I've got it all turned off for this video, but you'll see NS Audio. What that basically means is that whole entire scene there, with the game desktop sound, the comms audio, the chrome audio, and the microphone, is all in there under one source so to add that source i'll um i'll just create a new scene and we'll call it scene test it's a blank scene we press the plus arrow on the sources and go add a scene so when we're in scene if you organize yours as well as mine you'll see everything's in alphabetical order so i can easily work out which one it is that i want so i want the nested scene that i've created audio add that in and that automatically adds my four audio mixers just there. So that's kind of like a bit of an easy way to, to work out why you'd want to use that. But you're probably still saying that, that, that I don't really need that. I, don't, I only use one scene and I, I only use two, two inputs or something like that for, for your audio. But that is just one use case. Some other use cases, if we take a little look into here again. And I go into my cam group nested scene. You can see I've only got one cam on there at the moment, which is um, the, the Logitech C920. It won't show up in the preview because I'm using it to film right now. If I open up my filters on here, you'll see there's I've got my uh, typical LUT that I've got on there. But if I open, right click over the scene and press filters, you'll see I've got a load of filters set up on there. So them filters are set up on the scene rather than the source so if i'm using the say the logitech camera somewhere else that won't have the the filters on top again this is a little bit complicated it honestly the first time i was trying to get my head around it i was a little bit confused and it, it was kind of just blowing my mind a little bit but let's show you uh i have another scene called effects so you'll see i've got a blurred cam just here and if i right click that and press filters it adds a blur but without adding it to that actual source. So they work kind of in conjunction with each other. It means I can have two different sources on there. And I'll give you a demonstration of what that is as well in the background here. But if we go to the effects full screen cam effects, you'll see I've got all sorts of stingers and stuff. Because I do a lot of uh, kind of memes and stuff like that on my channel. Which you'll be able to see if you want to come and join me. Twitch.tv slash Andy Lippy. Uh, and then go to filters on here you'll be able to see I've got all these filters set up again and that just means anytime I'm using my normal camera it's not going to be affected by the filters because I'm adding it to that one scene okay and when I'm using that scene 
if I go to, say, my Let's Chat, you'll see I've got my Blurred Cam, which is that effect there. And I've also got my Cam Group, which is just there as well, which is that one there. Is that making a little bit of sense? I really, really hope it is. Nested scenes can be so useful, especially if you're using so many different effects, but you only want it for certain scenes. So, say if you, you've got a bit of a meme scene and you want to do a freeze frame, but you still don't want your normal camera to be affected, you just create a scene, add that camera to that scene, and then add that filter to the scene, not to the camera. That way, that camera will never have that filter on. It's just that whole scene. Does that make sense? I really hope it does. It can be so complicated. I think I might go a little bit more in depth on different reasons you would use this in a later tutorial. But to kind of get that together, just ask me questions down below and I'll just kind of make a big video on everything that you've asked me to do with nested scenes uh, and what I use them for. Or even just come and stop by my Twitch, like I say. Alright, so any questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll get into them. Put your rock with a stone, like that video, subscribe.